Hello everybody and welcome back. So I was sent this box from Paint Pixie and uh, we were all actually given the box and um, told to do what we want with it. And so I am starting with the Paint Pixie Magical Chalk Paint in Marshmallow and I'm painting one full coat over the whole box. After my paint was dry, I put one coat of Meltdown on top of this entire thing. It's going to seal the paint and then it will also give me a nice tooth for whatever else I decide to put on here. I decided to make my own paper um, to put on top of the box, so here I am pulling it off the gel plate and it's so cool. <laughs> Very satisfying. Okay, so my paper is on top of the box now and I'm grabbing my soft gel medium and I'm going to use this to decoupage on the paper. Now the paper is a little thicker so that's why I'm using a thicker medium. It also gives you more open time that means it doesn't dry as fast and so I can also if I put my paper on weird or wonky it also gives you time to pick it up and move the paper. If you were using a thin medium uh, like Mod Podge or something uh, it would um, dry really fast and then you may even risk, if you have to move your paper, you may risk ripping it. I'm grabbing my sanding block and I'm going to just sand off all the excess paper around the whole box. I'm going to put a coat of Meltdown on top of the paper. This is going to protect the paper. And again, uh, depending on what I put on top of this, it'll just uh, give it a nice tooth um, for anything else to stick to. But I'm mostly doing it to protect my paper. So I have this really big crow that is going to sit on top of my box and I'm making a little collar for the crow out of this cupcake liner. So I just poked a hole in the bottom and then I'm going to cut all the way around it. And then you'll see on the bottom, I'll, I'll just cut um, little fringes all the way around. Sorry for the camera angle, I thought it was really good. <laughs> so a lot, some of it goes off, but um, I'm just cutting that paper all the way around the inside so I can have the um, entire cupcake liner ready to go.
All right, here's my crow. I, it's got to be a girl, right? I think she's pretty cute. So I'm going to stick that little collar right on top of her. And then I'm going to just bend back the fringes a little bit so that you can see that they are fringes around her neck. I really think she's cute. So you can see I have a bunch of extra of the cupcake liner, so I'm just trimming it off, and then I'm gonna take my hot glue and glue it back together. I thought she needed a little tag hanging off of her collar, so I made this little trick-or-treat tag real quick. It's just with a printable, and then I decoupaged it onto that um, piece of wood and stuck a little piece of twine around there, and I'm just going to pop it over her head, and I think it just looks so adorable. Okay, so now I'm making the hat. I just put a piece of paper, rolled it up into a little cone, and then I cut the tip off of the cone. And now I'm taking some orange raffia, and I just cut some little pieces. I'm pinching them together. And again, I am off the camera. I'm so sorry, but I'm not doing anything except for bundling up these little pieces of raffia. You can see I stuck it through the hole, and I did put a little dab of hot glue inside of there. And now I'm just going to take my scissors and just cut it down so that it's a little bit more fringy in areas. And um, then I'm going to take a piece of raffia with some hot glue around the top just so I can kind of finish it off and it doesn't look so um, ragged.
I am taking the cupcake liner again and I am going to hot glue it around the bottom of the little hat. So I have a way to not only make it cute, but I need a way to glue it onto the crow's head. So just a little dollop, a line of glue all the way around the bottom. I'm going to stick on the cupcake liner and then I'm gonna bend it down a little bit so that it fits right on the crow's head. I figured this needed some fringe in it as well to match the collar, so I'm cutting fringe all the way around the entire thing. All right, I think it's going to fit really cute. I love it so much. So again, I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to put a line of glue all the way around the inside of the hat and I'm going to stick it right to the crow's head. For the outside of the box, I am using the Liquid Pixie Dust in Onyx. This is such a beautiful metallic black. I love it so much and I think it's just perfect for this Halloween box. I am using the Assistant from the Turquoise Iris Magic Pack. You can get that uh, in the link below. Uh, look for the link to Paint Pixie. When you get to Paint Pixie, you're going to go to the Turquoise Iris Collection. And uh, this brush is in the Magic Pack. It's such a great brush set. Um, I highly, highly recommend it.
Time to embellish the front of the box. I'm using the same paper that I used for the crow's hat. And here I am just trying to make the top paper that I made on my gel plate um, a little bit more grungy and a little bit more um, so that it coordinates with that striped paper. So I am taking the antique linen distress ink and I'm going over all of the white spots on my paper. So now I'm grabbing the vintage photo and I'm going to just go around the whole box with it. And I realize here that I need um, I need a, a tool to put this on so I can spread it a little bit better. So I wanna take it throughout the whole box. And I love how it just gives this a little bit of depth and dimension. So a combination of the antique linen and vintage photo and I really, really love it. I decided I needed a little bit more black in the paper too, so I'm taking some of the liquid pixie dust in Onyx on a makeup sponge, and I'm just going to gently bring it around the box, and then you'll see me kind of place it um, in some of the angles and um, just some areas so I can deepen it and uh, bring out a little bit more of the dark, dark tone.
Okay, back to the front of the box. I really love the stripe with this. Um, there's some polka dots on the back, which are cute too, but I like the stripes a lot. And then look at this crow I found in an old children's book. I think it's absolutely perfect. I cannot wait for this to be done. I got these little Happy Halloween. Um, they're kind of like a chipboard from Target last year. And then look at the little hat for the crow. <laughs> I figured since the crow on top had a hat that this one needed one too. I wanted the stripe to go across the whole front of the box, so I'm just piecing in another little piece of the paper here, and I'll cut that off and then glue it all down. Then I'm going to glue on the crow paper. I'm using my Uhu, Yuhu, whatever it's called, <laughs> glue. Um, it's a dry glue, so it's nice for putting on thicker papers for smaller projects like this. Um, you're not going to get any bubbling or any wrinkles with this glue, and it sticks pretty quick. The only thing you want to watch out for is the glue coming right off of the stick sometimes can be really clumpy, so you just want to make sure you don't leave any clumps because it will dry in a clump, and you'll see that underneath the paper. So just make sure it's nice and smooth, and it will be good to go.
So the white of this crow paper is too white. So I'm using the antique linen distress ink again, and um, I'm going to just put that over the whole crow. Then I'm putting some um, of the vintage photo on with what's left on my applicator. I think I do dunk in another time here, but it just kind of um, deepens the edges and I think I really love the look. Using the Yoohoo again and getting the entire back of my little crow here and then I'm just going to stick it on. I'm just using a bright orange acrylic paint here. I wanted this to be super bright and Paint Pixie does not have an orange this bright. So I just grabbed um, one of the acrylics that I had. So this can really pop on the front. So now I'm going to just use the star brush that's also from the Magic Pack from the Turquoise Iris Collection and I'm going to just brush around the edges of this little Halloween sign, gives it a little depth and helps it kind of pop out off of that striped paper on the front.
So the orange of this hat doesn't quite match the sign, so I'm just going to take that same acrylic and just quickly paint the stripes on here so that they match. Oh, and I'm using the Tipsy from the Magic Pack to do that. Okay, so once that is dry, I am just going to use my Yoohoo and just glue both of these down. And um, then, <laughs> then the front will be done. I wasn't super careful with my glue, so I'm just taking a really old, ratty, crummy brush and I'm going in between the letters in my Happy Halloween sign just to kind of pull out some of the glue. But otherwise, it's really stuck and I'm ready to go. So for this project, we had to use Pixie Dough and we had to use a mold from Paint Pixie. So I, this is the Star Bright mold. I'm grabbing my cornstarch. It's really, really important to liberally cornstarch uh, the inside of the mold before you put the Pixie Dough in there. That just helps it release. So you'll see I'm putting a bunch of um, cornstarch in the mold. Now that does not stick to the Pixie Dough. So if you pull it out and there's cornstarch on the dough, you can just blow it right off. I'm going to pull out a little piece of the pixie dough. You can see it's really sticky and stringy, but guess what? It does not stick to your hands at all. So I like to kind of just roll it around in my hand to warm it up a little bit. Um, I think I have a little bit much here, so I'm just pulling about half of that off of my ball, and then I'm gonna stick it in there, press it right in the mold. Just make sure it's flat on top. And then as soon as you have it if, as you like it, you can just bend the silicone back and it pops right out. Look at how awesome that is. And the, the uh, detail is amazing. 
I painted my casting with the Candied Papaya Magical Chalk Paint, the Onyx Liquid Pixie Dust uh, in the middle, and then I also used a little bit of the White Sand Liquid Pixie Dust. So here I found this little box. It's a round box. I found it at Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to paint the entire thing in the Onyx Liquid Pixie Dust. And then this is going to be my last element on the top of my box. So this is how I'm going to place these on top of the box. And right now I'm just kind of looking for something to put in the front of, I'm, I think this is like a little cauldron. That's what I feel like it is. And so I've got a couple of things that I'm auditioning. And in the end, I really, really liked the black and orange label that I ended up putting on. And um, so I affixed that with a little Yoohoo. And then I had a little um, metal piece from the Tim Holtz Halloween. And um, that one says potion, but I ended up using the one that says beware. And I just put that on with a little piece of waxed thread. And that's it. Then it's all done. And I love it so much.
So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you loved this tutorial. Please make sure you visit me at janebelanteart.com and I will have another tutorial for you next week Monday. Have a great day.